Yes, sir. Let us know what you're about. Station is out on 7.9. You dirty J. Nick's Fly's got on the radio. Look, it's all about trapping, not the trap house. You know, we got to get it popping. I always like try to um, pull in new artists that's doing their thing, especially from other cities, especially visit Atlanta. That's how I'm rocking. You know what I'm saying? I got this guy that I seen him at the shit show. You know what I'm saying? AJ Reynolds. Mr. Cheeks. What's good? Mr. What's good? Cheeks, the new Mr. Cheeks. Yes, sir. What's going on? Let me know where you're from, bro. Yeah, I'm from New Hampshire. It's pretty funny that you said uh, Mr. Cheeks. I actually tapped in with him after that TV show. That's tight. So, so New Hampshire, how is it like growing up in New Hampshire? Uh, it was, <laughs> it's, a, it's pretty uh, on its own, kind of like doing its own thing, very like... Not Atlanta at all. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's 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 tucked up in uh, New England, a uh, uh, little below Maine, above Mass. It's uh it's it's out. It's quiet. There's no music industry. There's literally nothing coming out of there. So me coming out of there, uh, working, growing up in the music industry, it's just been pretty much me. Uh, trying to branch out to other cities, you know, trying right. to just reach out because there's literally nothing. There's no hip hop. There's no. We have like a one radio station in Boston mm. that that covers hip hop. Wow. You know, everything else in the area is just pretty much just like uh, commercial, not even rap and hip hop. It's just pop and right. country, and it's way out and, and in the middle of nowhere. So, so, what made you? What made you decide to like with all the adversities going on as far as like where you from and not having a scene there? What made you decide to say, you know what, I want to do music. I want to rap. I was eight, I, and that was gonna be really uh, cliche. But when I was eight, I uh, I was listening to Eminem. And I was like, "Yo, that's like, <laughs> yeah, I know, you know yeah. what I'm saying. I didn't mean, you know, it's, it is what it's it is. Though. But yeah, it's just the way, you know. It's the same with, uh, you know. I actually see a lot of uh, people that have had the same issues and um, tackling it. You know, when it comes down to like, um, you know, uh, inspired by like someone like Eminem, um, someone like you know, you were, we're talking, you know, Jack. Um, he uh, took that very easily, you know, when it comes down to like white rappers right. uh, being a white rapper. And, um, you know, uh, that really pretty much was like um, it was pretty it's pretty easy for me to jump through the hoops when it comes down to that. But right. um, when, you know, be like I started music when I was like eight years old and um I don't know. It was just pretty much like this is all I've had, right. you know, when it comes to anything. I've never had met many friends. You know, I've never really had that many people that I was with, you right. know, um, when I was younger. I never really um, got to connect with many people in life in general. But the one thing that I connect in the most with is music. Mm. And, you know, um, it's definitely a, a it's definitely a harder like avenue to set down in. Um, and go down a different path to go down in, but um, I, I've just always been tapping right back into it. It's just right. something that I love, and I can't stop doing it. See, I don't think there's nothing wrong with the answer because I just feel like it's, it's it, when you take the color out of it, you you do music and you're inspired by people that's like you. Yeah, yeah, hundred percent. Like you, they, they I don't the even same see color. Like you know what I'm saying? Like for instance, like I'm from originally from St. Louis, so when I started doing music, I saw Nelly. Mm. So what's the difference from you seeing Eminem? It's not. Right, it's it's somebody that you got something in common with that you might tap into, uh, yeah. whether you're the same color, same race, or they're from where you're from. It gives you a, it gives you a thought that it's possible. Mm -hmm. See what I'm saying? No, like everybody if they could do it. I could do it. Yeah, and that's the thing is like it's, it's, it's like especially sitting right here with you. You know what I mean? I, I immediately connect with you. Right. You know, it's it's just crazy. It's just such a a, a great connection to have, and and just a vibration in general with music. It's crazy that just a vibration can connect. You know what I mean? It's right. just, it's insane. It doesn't, and nothing else matters after that. So what did your parents thought, like, when you first started saying, you know what, mom, mom, dad, I want to rap? Yeah, yeah, so, I mean, at first it was kind of like, oh, all right, yeah, they're cool, you know, but then um, after I just kept going with it, you mm. know, like, I did, like, when I was growing up, like, I would do, like, little, you know, school talent shows, you know, stuff like that, and then um, I met up with my homie, uh, you boy Mass, mm. up in, uh, shout out to him, he's up in, uh, uh, New Hampshire, um, we started going out, we started doing, uh, like, different shows, you know, and uh, my mom and my dad started seeing that, and they were just kind of like, you know, just do it, you yeah. know? My mom has always just been like, you know, um, you know, just make sure, like, it's just, you're comfortable, you know, and I, you know, it's kind of funny, because you're never comfortable in the right. music industry, right. you Thanks. can't be comfortable, yeah. but, you know, coming from that, you know, I just, they're, they've been very supportive over the years, it's, it's something that's really uh, helped me actually you know because uh having those people so close you know whether we have two different relationships with them at least we can all come back like i said with music and right. just be like bam right. we have a connection right some facts, 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 so, facts. so 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 tell me you don't do on the floor yeah yeah like 2018 what what, what was that experience like and how the hell did that happen yeah so i was actually on the back of a trash truck because i was working uh for casella in uh, new hampshire as a trash company and um 
I was, I actually, I was like almost like at that um, doubtful, like, I don't know if this is why I want, whatever with music. Right. And it was to the point where I didn't even have a cell phone. Mm. Like I was, I wasn't even paying my bill. Like I really, I wasn't even tapping into social media, nothing. And then I eventually paid, I had a little Walmart phone cause I was really down and out. I paid my, uh, paid my bill. And then all of a sudden a text message came popping through and it was someone from um, the four, which was out in uh, Los Angeles. Like, Hey, we want you to come on the show. It's like, all right, I'm down. <laughs> you know, they booked my mm. flight, everything. We went out there, and that really, like, So went, you were broke, like, not didn't have a pot to piss in. I had nothing. Like, literally, no, like, we were living in this apartment in, um, in Hampton Beach, New Hampshire, and there was literally no insulation, mm. so it was hot when it was hot, and it was cold, cold when it was cold. cold. Mm. Uh, there was, you know what I mean? We, our front door barely shut. We had a back window that wasn't even, it, long story short, it was a shit show. It was a, it was a shit show. <laughs> you know what I mean? And, um, but yeah, just getting that opportunity thrown in my face just pretty much was like, put all your nuts in the basket and just go. I think that's a good story to have because I feel like that sometimes like this race barrier that we have between blacks and whites, they, sometimes we tend to think that, um, because you're white, you have always have extra privileges mm-hmm. and i think yep, that it works some way. It. I, I keep it funky i feel like it works in some ways but it's still stories like yours mm-hmm. that yo i was broke I was yeah broke as fuck like i ain't had yeah. shit like like i couldn't pay my cell phone bill like you know what i'm saying yeah yeah that's no. a story in itself and i was, so like, was like depressed gave up yeah. like i was like literally down and out like done mm-hmm. i was like you know what? i just don't give i just don't care right. you know what i mean i just don't care at all and um, that is the one thing that um, I've always I've always not put people in their place, but kind of been like, just understand that, like, you know, there's that, yeah, because like, you know, I've definitely, you know, I've been able to live with my mom, mm-hmm. you know, um, but it wasn't like on some here's the world. Right. It was like, you got to pay rent. You got to like get your, you got to get yourself like it would, they structured me to become, you know, someone. And when I finally went out into the real world, like, you know, um, or not the real world, but being um, you know, out of my parents' house mm-hmm. uh, at a young age. That was, like, an easy way to, you know, it, it really uh, built character in so many different ways. But, yeah, going through it, yeah, <laughs> I definitely Same. have not been, I haven't had no silver spoon. Right. And that's just one thing that I've been actually blessed to say. Right. Even though at some point it's like, damn, I really wish I could wake up with, you know, whatever I wanted. Yeah. I kind of like having everything that I've ever wanted that I earned. Right, come on now. Come on now. So that explains it because if you come up like that, you're doing a show like the shit show where it's like all black people ghetto. I said yeah. it. He didn't say it. I said it. Yeah. He didn't say it. <laughs> ghetto as hell. You know nah, what I'm saying? But rough. not necessarily like but just an experience like for you to but I feel like when you go through adversities in life, it's like you put your nuts on the line. Like it's like I don't care. I'm about to get out and give my all. I'm gonna win some, I'm gonna lose some, but I'm gonna keep fighting. It's that four, that when I went on the four, that's really what uh, broke me into being like, yo, like, you got to just do it. Mm-hmm. Like, it doesn't matter, like, who you are, what, you know, like you said, what color you are, where you came from, like, not that. Is If it connects, like, let's make it happen. Mm-hmm. And, you know, that's just, you know, it's definitely been, uh, it's definitely been crazy with that. Mm-hmm. I ain't mad about that. So definitely congratulations on that. Thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that. So what you got going on? Because we were talking earlier about just how much music you have in the vault. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I've been going, like I said, I when I was saying I was down and out, like, I mean, literally, I, we got done recording, um, we got done, you know, dropping a couple albums, and then it was to the point where it was like, I had no money, like, I was, like, having to pay the bills and mm. pay the music bill, mm. you know what I mean, like, had the recording time, I've been there. And, and, you know, and it's like, it, it got to a point where it was like, um, you know, like I said, we were down and out, but once I finally came back up, it was like, okay, cool. We got off the trash truck from the four. We uh, we got our bread up. We got our music. We're getting booked. We're, like, doing this and that. And, you know, it really, um, it was, um, damn, I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> I mean, like, as far as, like, like you'll come up, like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was, like, um, yeah, oh, sorry, there we go, my bad. I was, I was just thinking about something, but no, um. Yeah, with the like, we had like nothing when it came to like being able to record. But now, once we, everything came up and like we're good, now it's like, yo, uh, it was like we're in the studio like three, four times a week. Mm. And when I go in there, it's like three, four records at a time. And I'm telling the guy, all right, cool, like next, next, right. next. We record him in 10 minutes. And then, right. you know, he's out there. I'll be out, you know, rolling up, doing whatever. And he's sitting there, you know, mix, mix, mix. And then, you know, we'll sit down, have a big session. Long story short, like we got. 
maybe four projects mm-hmm. with like you know 16 17 records each that I might even just break down into eight different projects mm-hmm. like the content consistency you know like I got so much in the vault that within the end of the rest of this year next year and the year after I have you plenty ready? of content to just I just unload the clip you ready I'm ready, ready. <laughs> I ain't mad about that's been the main part about you ready so those projects working on so what are we pushing right now I know you got cheeks out I know cheeks did real well you know what I'm saying but yeah cheeks is how old uh so yeah I recorded that back in 2013 uh with my homie uh, rest in peace of soul Mike Sip split second entertainment uh we uh we created uh that record and you know it's been definitely such a uh, such a ride with that record but right now we just dropped a a, a whole album or not we, you know I have a new engineer um we just dropped a whole album uh Connor Hayes a project too uh, you're on the right paths on Apple Music, Spotify. Got 16 records, just positivity. Right now, I'm pushing. I got uh, music videos, three or four of them, They're actually sitting in the vault. I just dropped two of them on this album. I got like literally three or four videos that we're gonna drop for this one. Mm. And while at the same time we're filming other stuff and like making more content for the next ones that we're gonna be dropping. And you know, the what we got right now though, you know, I got a new I got a video that I just dropped uh a month ago, My Life, which mm-hmm. we filmed in LA. Okay. Um uh, on Venice Beach. And then two weeks ago I dropped another one called Damage, which is like a hyper pop drill uh type of record, you know, uh filmed over at Trill, uh Trill is Bliss Studios in Massachusetts. Just really working, bro. We got a lot going on right now. And then afterwards, you know, once I come home from Atlanta after everything, you know, because I just did my first time in Atlanta. Come on. I just started, yeah. How, I, how you liking it? I love it. Have, like, Have I'm, you been to the strip clubs yet? Uh, I have not, but I'll be at Chit Chat later. AJ, I'm taking you to Magic City. When Let's you go. Back. When you come, when you come <laughs> but not today because I got my mom. Uh, with, <laughs> so she can't, she's not going to Magic City. But when you get back to Atlanta, I'm taking you to Magic City. We're yeah, Magic no. City. You got to see it. I was talking about it. You know, I was actually driving around. I was like, yo. I was talking to my fiance. I was like, "Yo, uh, we gotta go to Magic City. We're in Atlanta. What are you?" <laughs> so you get you, you good in the game, man. Yes, sir. Well, let them know how to get in contact with you, AJ. Uh, yo, so you can uh, hit me up Twitter at realajreynolds.com. Um, I, I mean, sorry, Twitter at realajreynolds. Uh, Instagram at realajreynolds. Uh, AJReynoldsMusic.com I'm on everything Just look me up And, Sp- and Spotify And iTunes Spotify Apple Music AJ every- Reynolds At AJ Reynolds Come on man I'm proud of you big dog You gotta stay focused Keep going man Keep yeah. going We going to Mad City I got you Yeah let's make it you happen You bring bro. me some ones Now I ain't paying for your ones <laughs> Nah man. nah I got you bro. <laughs> I'm gonna have to You know I'm gonna have to pay for yours Yeah that's all good <laughs> nah, I, I like love. to be treated I, I ain't mad about that man AJ Reynolds Ladies and gentlemen Trap House Boomer You know what's going on Rocky I see you big baby What it do Yeah shout out Rocky <laughs> <laughs>